before you take off. Choose your name from this top secret list, then click Go. Or, if your name is not on the list, please type it in now, then click Go. the spider web to go to the science web explore the science web to find out more about animal tracking day and night and fun physics a web is a good way to show how information is connected when you hear this sound it means that one of the scouts has sent back a treasure for you for all of your hard work click on the paper airplane to get it Click on one of these buttons to find out more about animal tracking, day and night, and fun physics. Animal tracking. Click this button to go back to the science web menu. Armadillo. Bald eagle. Girl. Human child. Woodchuck. Day and night. Click this button to explore. Click here to print this page. Click this button and I will read this page to you. Seasons. Spring, summer, fall and winter are the four seasons. The seasons are caused by changes in how much sunlight you get in your part of Earth. The changes in sunlight happen at the same time each year. So each season also comes at the same time each year. Seasons in the Northern and Southern Hemispheres. Whichever season it is in North America, it's the opposite season in Australia. When it's summer in the North, it's winter in the South. Here's why. In June, the Northern Hemisphere is tilted toward the sun. It gets extra sunlight 
which warms things up. It's summertime. At the same time, the southern hemisphere is tilted away from the sun. It gets less sunlight. With less sun, things cool down. It's winter time. Distance from the sun to the earth. Distance from the sun to the earth. Speed of light. Light travels faster than anything else. The speed of light is always the same, about 186,000 miles per second. The sun is 93 million miles from Earth. But light travels so fast, it takes only 8 minutes for light to move from the sun to the Earth. Fun physics. Acceleration, cycle, energy, experiment, force, physics, variable. Slope. Slope tells how steeply a ramp is slanted. A ball rolls quickly down a steep slope. If you take the high end of a ramp and raise it up, you change the slope. The ball will roll faster now. If you lower the ramp, the slope changes again. Now the ball will roll more slowly. Variable. Pendulum. A tire swing is a huge pendulum. Like any pendulum, it has a weight. The weight hangs from a rope tied to a branch. The weight can swing back and forth. A swinging pendulum keeps a steady beat. No matter how heavy the weight on a pendulum is, it always takes the same time to swing back and forth. tracking. Gray squirrel. A gray squirrel eats acorns and other nuts. In the fall, there are many acorns. So the squirrel buries extra acorns in the ground. When winter comes, food is harder to find. So the squirrel digs up and eats its stored acorns. Squirrels make their nests in trees. They dash up tree trunks and jump from branch to branch. A gray squirrel track has four toes on each front paw and five toes on each back paw. Shows claws, is shaped like a half circle. A full set of four tracks is about four inches long and five inches wide. <laughs> This track is shaped like a half circle. Let's see what you found, buddy. Carrie, great, you're there. I'm finding some pretty cool things, but I think we're going to need to use a couple of your tools. Do you have any that would help us out with this challenge? Use this tool.
tool to find out more from the science web. Use this tool to count the number of toes on a track or a foot. To use a tool, click on it. Then, click on an object. To put a tool away, click on its tool flap. Remember to put your tools back when you're finished with them. Thanks. Here's the challenge. Can you figure out who left this track? Click the animal that made these tracks. Then click Go. This track shows five toes on the front foot and five toes on the back foot. Terrific! It was the black bear. This one is cool. Who left this track? Click. You're a great tracker. It was the deer. Found another one. Who left this track? Click the animal that made these tracks. Then click go. Excellent work. It was the wolf. You'd make a great scout. Click on another signal. We're ready for you. Hey, Carrie. Can you click go to make the ball drop from the platform? The balls will be moving in slow motion. Can you click go to make the ball drop from the platform? Let's try another. Click Go to start the balls moving. This one's cool. Which ball do you think will get to the bottom first? Click the Go button to find out. Let's try another. You need to make this ball get to the bottom first. <laughs> try changing the ramp. Click this button to start over. Great job! You need to make this ball get to the bottom first. You're on the right track now. You need to make this ball get to the bottom first. Now you've got it. Back to you, Carrie. Wow! These scouts are finding a lot of great science out there. We're ready for you. Hey, Carrie. Great to see you. I found a mystery cave. It has one of these objects in it. Do you have any tools to help us with this challenge? Here's a set of tools that will help you find clues to the mystery object in the cave. Use this tool.
tool to find out the color of the mystery object. This tool will tell you the shape of the mystery object. Use this tool to find out what the mystery object feels like. This tool will tell you what the mystery object smells like. To use a tool, click on it. Then click on the cave. To put a tool away, click on its tool flap. Remember to put your tools back when you're finished with them. Great! That should help us out. Can you figure out which of these objects is in the mystery cave? To gather clues about the mystery object, click on a tool, then click on the cave. The clues you gather show up here, in the clue collector. Pay close attention to your clues. When you think you know what the object is, click on it. Then, click the Go button. Click on me if you need more help. The object is blue. The object is shaped like a ball. The object feels squishy and smooth. The object smells like rubber. Please put the tool away before you click on an object. I will go into the cave and check to see if your answer is correct. Great job! You're thinking like a real scientist when you get it on the first try. Hey, there's another one in here. The object is purple and white. The object is shaped like a hand. The object is soft and fuzzy. The object smells like wool. I will go into the cave and check to see if your answer is correct. Right on the first try. Way to go. There's another object in the cave. The object smells like leather. The object feels smooth with some bumps. The object is shaped like a ball. The object is white and black. I'll head into the cave and see if you were right. on the first try. Way to go. Hey, there's another one in here. The object is red. The object is shaped like a ball. The object feels smooth. The object smells fruity. I'll head into the cave and see if you were right. All right, you got it right the very first time. Hey, there's another one in here. The object is purple. The object is shaped like a foot. The object feels soft and fuzzy. The object smells like wool. I will go into the cave and check to see if your answer is correct. Great job! You're thinking like a real scientist when you get it on the first try. See you later. Wow! These scouts are finding a lot of great science out there.
The scouts haven't sent back any treasure. Hey, buddy. Carrie, great, you're there. I'm finding some pretty cool things, but I think we're going to need to use a couple of your tools. Do you have any that would help us out with this challenge? Use this tool to find out more from the science web. Use this tool to count the number of toes on a track or a foot. This tool will show you the shape of a foot or a track. To use a tool, click on it. Then, click on an object. To put a tool away, click on its tool flap. Remember to put your tools back when you're finished with them. Thank you. Can you figure out who left this track? Click the animal that made these tracks. Then click Go. This track is shaped like a triangle. Try using a tool to help you figure it out. This track shows five toes on the front foot and five toes on the back foot. Excellent work! It was the beaver. This one is cool. Can you figure out who left this track? Click the... Terrific! It was the cat. You're getting really good at these. Here's another. Who is here? Click the animal that made these tracks. Then click go. Try using a tool. Good job! It was the grizzly bear. Hey! Here's another one. Can nice work. It was the herring gull. Found another one. Who left this track? That was great. It was the long tail weasel. Wow! These scouts are finding a lot of great science out there. We're receiving your signal loud and clear, Einstone. Go ahead. Which of these objects is in the mystery cave? Try using these tools. <coughs> Click on me if you need more help. The object is mostly brown. The object is very long and thin. The object feels hard and smooth and prickly on one end. The object smells like dust. I will go into the cave and check to see if your answer is correct. All right. You got it right the very first time. Which of these objects is in the mystery cave? The object is white and purple. The object smells like plastic and oil. The object feels hard and smooth. The object is a flat oval shape with four discs. I'll head into the cave and see if you were right. Right on the first try. Way to go. Hey, there's another one in here. The object is gray and white. The object is long and flat. The object feels soft and smooth. The object has no smell. Please put the tool away before you click on an object. I will go into the cave and check to see if your answer is correct. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
It's something else. Look at the clue collector again. Way to go. That's the right object. There's another object in the cave. The object is shaped like a ball. The object feels hard and smooth with some bumps. The object smells like leather. The object is white with some red. I will go into the cave and check to see if your answer is correct. Great job! You're thinking like a real scientist when you get it on the first try. There's another object in the cave. The object is... Orange with some green. The object is round, long, and thin. The object feels slightly bumpy. The object smells like a plant. I will go into the cave and check to see if your answer is correct. <laughs> Great job! You're thinking like a real scientist when you get it on the first try. See you later! your latest treasure. Click on the paper airplane to get it. Ready for another? Click on a signal from one of the scouts. <laughs> click the treasure. Then click the print button to print your treasure. Click here when you're ready to take on another challenge. Ready for another? Click on a signal from one of the scouts. What you got there, scout? Hi, you guys. I'm ready to roll. Here's a catapult. Click go to see what happens. Here's another good one. Can you move the catapult sideways so that it throws the ball over the brick wall? Now you've got it. Back to you, Carrie. That Bobby's a great scouter outer. She sure knows a good science challenge when she finds one. Hey, buddy. Carrie, great, you're there. I'm finding some pretty cool things, but I think we're going to need to use a couple of your tools. Do you have any that would help us out with this challenge? Use this tool to find out more from the science web. Use this tool to count the number of toes on a track or a foot. This tool will show you the shape of a foot or a track. To You're right on track. It was the coyote. You're getting really good at these. Here's another. Can you try using a tool to help you fix this track is shaped like an oval. This track shows four toes. This animal has five toes. This animal has four toes. This animal has four toes. 
This animal's track is shaped like an oval. This animal's track is shaped like a circle. You're a great tracker. It was the wolf. Found another one. Who left these tracks? Click the animal or person that made these tracks. This track is shaped like a kite. This animal's track is shaped like a W. This animal's track is shaped like a heart. This animal's track is shaped like a kite. All right, it was the herring gull. Looks like you're ready for another challenge. Can you figure out who left this track? Click the animal that made these tracks. Then click go. This track is shaped like a kid's hand. This animal's track is shaped like a W. This animal's track is shaped like a kid's hand. Excellent work! It was the opossum. I have a riddle for you. How do you know that a train has been by? You look for the tracks! What you got there, Scout? Which of these objects is in the mystery game? Try using these tools. <laughs> Click on me if you need more help. The object is purple. The object is long and thin. The object smells like toothpaste. The object feels hard and smooth and prickly on one end. I'll head into the cave and see if you were right. Right on the first try. Way to go. Which of these objects is in the mystery cave? The object is brown. The object is shaped like a hand. The object feels smooth. The object smells like leather. When you think you know what the object is, I will go into the cave and check to see if your answer is correct. Right on the first try. Way to go. There's another object in the cave. The object is long and flat and changes shape. The object is purple and white. The object feels soft and fuzzy. The object smells like wool. I'll head into the cave and see if you were right. Right on the first try. Way to go. There's another object in the cave. The object is silver. The object is round, long, and thin. The object feels very hard and smooth, but pointy on one end. 
The object has no smell. I will go into the cave and check to see if your answer is correct. Right on the first try. Way to go. There's another object in the cave. The object is orange. The object has no smell. The object feels hard, smooth, and waxy. The object is round, long, and thin. I'll head into the cave and see if you were right. Great job! You're thinking like a real scientist when you get it on the first try. See you later! Good at this. Let's see what you found, buddy. Carrie, great, you're there. I'm finding some pretty cool things, but I think we're going to need to use a couple of your tools. Do you have any that would help us out with this challenge? Use this tool to find out more from the science web. Use this tool to count the number of toes on a track or a foot. This tool will show you the shape of a foot or a track. This tool will show you how an animal or person moves and what the pattern of their tracks look like. To use a tool, click on it. Then, click on an object. To put a tool away, click on its tool flap. Remember to put your tools back when you're finished with them. Thanks. Those tools will really help. Who left these tracks? Click the animal that made these tracks. Then click go. This track is shaped like an oval. This animal's track is shaped like an oval. Good job! It was the cottontail rabbit. Found another one. Who is here? Click the animal that made these tracks. Then click Go. Try using a tool. Good thinking! It was the cougar. Hey! Here's another one. Who is here? Click the animal that made these tracks. Then click Go. Try using a You're a great tracker! It was the garter snake. Looks like you're ready for another challenge. Who is he? Try using a... But that's exactly right. It was the long tail weasel. You're getting really good at these. Here's another. Who is here? Click the animal that made these tracks. Then click... This track is shaped like a heart. This animal's track is shaped like a heart. You're right on track. It was the deer. You and Buddy make a great team. He scouts out the tracks, and you figure out who left them. We're ready for you. Hey, Carrie. Great to see you.
That's a view of the Earth from space. When I turn on my light, you can see where I am on the Earth right now. To turn the Earth, click and drag it, or click on the green arrow. If you... Please make it nighttime. That was great! Wow! At night, my spot on the Earth is turned away from the sun. It is dark. Let's do another one. I'm in the mood for some sunlight. Turn the Earth so that it is daylight. Nice work! Great! When my spot on the Earth faces the sun's light, it is daylight. Let's do another one. Now turn the Earth so the stars twinkle in the night sky overhead. That was great! At night, my spot on the Earth is turned away from the sun. It is dark, so I can see the stars. Looks like you're ready for another challenge. Turn the Earth and make a sunny day so I can play outside. All right! When my spot on the Earth faces the sun's light, it is daylight. Let's do another one. Make a beautiful sunset over the mountains by turning the Earth. Good job. Goodbye, light. My spot on the Earth is spinning out of the sun's light at sunset. See you later. Sweet! You picked up a treasure. Click on the paper airplane to get it. Ready for another? Click on a... Have you been to the science web yet? Let's see what you found, Einstone. Which of these objects is in the mystery cave? The object is white. The object changes shape as it moves. The object feels soft, furry, and warm. The object smells like an animal. I'll head into the cave and see if you were right. All right. You got it right the very first time. There's another object in the cave. The object is green outside, red inside. The object is shaped like a huge egg. The object feels smooth. The object smells fruity. I will go into the cave and check to see if your answer is correct. on the first try. Way to go. Hey, there's another one in here. The object is black and white. The object is shaped like a foot. The object feels smooth with bumps and hard parts. The object smells like leather, but kind of stinky. I will go into the cave and check to see if your answer is correct. 
All right. You got it right the very first time. There's another object in the cave. The object is light green. The object is pear-shaped. The object feels smooth. The object smells fruity. I'll head into the cave and see if you were right. Great job! You're thinking like a real scientist when you get it on the first try. There's another object in the cave. The object is green with dark spots. The object changes shape as it moves. The object feels slippery and damp. The object smells like an animal. I'll head into the cave and see if you were right. Right on the first try. Way to go. See you later. Wow! These scouts are finding a lot of great science out there. Hey, buddy! Carrie! Great! You're there! I'm finding some pretty cool things, but I think we're going to need to use a couple of your tools. Do you have any that would help us out with this challenge? Use this tool to find out more from the science web. Use this tool to count the number of toes on a track or a foot. This tool will show you the shape of a foot or a track. This tool will show you how an animal or person moves and what the pattern of their tracks look like. Use this tool to measure the size of a foot or track. To use a tool, click... This foot is less than an inch long and less than an inch wide. This animal's foot is less than an inch long and less than an inch wide. Nice work! It was the mouse. Found another one. Who left this track? Click the animal that made these tracks. Then click go. This foot is about one inch long and about one inch wide on the front foot and about two inches long and about two inches wide on the back foot. This animal's foot is about two inches long and about one inch wide on the front foot and about two inches long and about two inches wide on the back foot. This animal's foot is about one inch long and about one inch wide on the front foot and about two inches long and about two inches wide on the back foot. You're a great tracker. It was the muskrat. Hey, here's another one. Try using... Excellent work! It was the robin. You're getting really good at these. Here's another. Try using a tool. Way to go! It was the black bear. Looks like you're ready for another challenge. Try using... Good thinking! It was the red fox.
Hey, Bobby! Hey, Carrie! I hope you can hear me okay. Things are looking pretty interesting out here. Have you got any tools to help us out with this challenge? These will help you remember where the animals were and learn more about them. Use this tool to find out more from the science web. Use this tool to check the location of an animal. Use this tool to find out the name of an animal. To use a tool, click on it. Then, click on an object. To put a tool away, click on its tool flap. Remember to put your tools back when you're finished with them. Look at this scene very closely and remember where all of the animals are. When you think you have the scene memorized, click on the clouds. Click me if you need help. Chipmunk. Cat. Drag the animals to put them back where they were. Click. Click go to check your... That was great. Here's another one. Now... Great job. Take a bow. Looks like we've got another one, Scout. Now... Let's try another one. Nice work. Check this out. The end. Looking good. Looks like we've got another one. Wow, you sure can remember what you see. Back to you, Carrie. You must love science as much as we do. We're receiving your Carrie. Great. You're Good thinking. It was the beaver. This one is cool. Who left these? Try using. Terrific! It was the eagle. <laughs> Looks like you're ready for another challenge. Who nice work! It was the grizzly bear. Found another one. Who is here? Click the animal that... Try using a... Good job! It was the muskrat. You're getting really good at... Try using a tool. That's exactly right. It was the mouse. Wow! These scouts are finding a lot of great science out there. Ready to go out here? Drag. Good thinking. Check this out. The animals need to go back to where they were before the wind. Click the clouds, then try again. Take another look. Say the name. Looking good. Here's another one.
Looks like we've got another one. You've got a great memory. Back to you. We're ready for you. Hi there, Carrie. Oh, hey, you've got the kid helping us out. That's great. Here's a pendulum. Click go to make it swing. Here's another good one. Here's a pendulum. Click go to make it swing. Let's try another. Let's try counting the number of times the pendulum swings before the flag reaches the top. Each time the pendulum swings, an orange drops. Click go to start counting. One orange. Two oranges, three oranges, four oranges, five oranges. Six oranges. This one's cool. Let's try counting the number of times the pendulum swings before the flag reaches the top. Each time the... One orange. Two oranges, three oranges, back to you Carrie. That Bobby's a great scouter outer. She sure knows a good. Ready to go out here? How about. Back to you, Carrie. Ready for another. Ready to go out here? How Back to you, Carrie. you got there, Scout? Hey, Carrie! Which ball do you think will get to the bottom first? Click the Go button to find out. Here's another good one. Can you change the...
Back to you, Carrie. Wow! What you got there, Scat? Back to you, Carrie. That Bobby's a... Ready to go. Back to you. You must love science as... 